Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, where you'll hear Emaw, every man a wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child love the Kansas State Wildcats. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Syracuse Orange taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Kansas State ready to kick it off to get things underway. Coming out with it, it's Walt. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The offense set 
for a first down play. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Fires left. He makes a catch. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Davis looking to pass. He's right on target. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. Looking to the big tight end. Got a wide open receiver. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, this guy obviously spent a lot of time in the film room this week because he is dissecting this defense early in the game in the opening drive. Great job with his eyes, great job with his rhythm, an explosive play there. This defense does not have an answer for this dude. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job on this defense. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get... Touchdown, Orange! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. They strike first, and that opening drive of the season could not have gone better. What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game, they matriculated down the field, put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup, accurate throw, and they get paid. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Syracuse, 7, Kansas State, 0. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. He'll push his way out to the 38 pickup of three. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Come on, set. Johnson looking to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. The throw. He's got the tight end. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The Wildcats want to pick up the tempo. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On the double. Lining up to convert third down. 42 spider. Oh, From the gun, wants to pass. 
Looking down the middle. And that ball is picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Looking for a productive play on first down. He leaves it with his back. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Let's go. He's looking to throw. Caught close to the marker. It's Hatcher. Tackled after picking up the first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And this guy is elite. There's a reason why he starts in this offense. You just saw the speed and the open field running ability on that last play. And this is a guy that is going to be key to the entire season for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Got a man. It's Haynes. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Syracuse. And this offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, and creating a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Syracuse, 14, Kansas State, 0. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. That's the end of the first quarter. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Davis will throw. Fires to the tight end. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup. And they'll move the chains with the first down. This offense is clicking. Everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. Drills him with the stiff arm. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. 
Got a man. It's Allen. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry. They're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. They wanted to get the ball to the tight end, and they've already done it five times, and we're not even to the half. I'm about to say, mission accomplished. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Take advantage of the matchup, right? Zoner man, I like my big fella. I like using the tight end all I can. Great job working him into the offense. He's a playmaker. Find him. Operating in the red zone here on second down. DB's locked up tight on the receivers. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it, and how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. A first down run on the doorstep. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cutes. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Indiana is in front. They've controlled the line of scrimmage to this point. But you take a look at the scoreboard, and you see we have ourselves a tight game. They're up by 10 over Old Dominion. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Out of the gun to give to the back. They knock him down right there. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Johnson wants to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Kansas State pushing the pace. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. Taking it the other way. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they want, and now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Finds a tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Okay. Now on first down from the 43. In blue. In blue. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Pocket starts to collapse, and he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. 
catch in the middle. It's Hatcher. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's brought down after a nice game. He's got 59 yards rushing already here in the first half. It's a season opener, but he's in midseason form. Syracuse has it in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Hatcher. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He wants it all. What oh, makes the grab oh, couldn't get the foot down. It's incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Davis looking to pass. Gets rid of it. He makes a grab. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. They'll immediately call timeout. Third and goal where you separate the wheat from the chaff. From the gun, wants to pass. He caught it! Into the end zone! Touchdown, Orange! Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Find the running back out of the backfield. He catches it and does the rest. Walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They march 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone, it's Lockett. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in there. And it's picked off for the third time today. And he was weaving his way and finally brought down around the 23-yard line. This late in the half, here's the question. How aggressive will the play calling be? Wants to throw on first down. With the catch, it's Gadsden. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Got it in the middle, it's Gadsden. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. The secondary walks up on the line, showing press cut. Touchdown, Syracuse! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. Get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Not going to risk a return here, he'll make the fair catch. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man, it's Brown. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Syracuse has it teed up, ready to kick off and start this second half. Fair 
fair catch called for and made. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. What could go wrong did in the first half, and they start this third quarter at the bottom of the mountain. Man, that was bad. That was a frying pan to the head. That was a TKO. It was awful in the first half. Flush it. I got to start doing something right. I got to find some positives. I get the ball first to start this possession, try to put a scoring drive again. The only thing you can do at this point offensively is just make sure your best players are touching the football as often as possible. You recruited these guys. You got guys out of the portal. You put your faith in them to make plays. This is the time to go out and do it. Kansas State quick to the line. Touch pass on the run. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. And great recognition by the corner. That touch pass after he throws at the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understanding that, flying up, coming and making the big tackle in the open field. Johnson looking to throw. Finds his tight end. Some really tough running there gets him to the 45-yard line. Let's see if the defense comes after them. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Buys a little time. He'll throw it. Fire into the right, complete. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Wildcats are flying down the field. Looking to throw it again. Unloads it left. He's got an open man. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Wildcats! And that's three touchdowns in two games. Just continuing to find the end zone, continuing to make plays. This guy is on pace for a great season. He's putting the college football world on notice. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. He's going to pass on second down. Quickly to the tight end. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's got speed, open field running ability. I think he's going to be a big part of the offense this season. They'll ride the hot hand. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Fires to the right. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. They're going to ride this running back. Runs through a tackle. He's now up to 104 yards on the ground, and with that run, he eclipses the 100-yard mark in this season opener. 
Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, to get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. You need to put more plays together like that right there. Syracuse looking for the fourth down conversion. Defense going to jam these receivers right off the line. Fires to the tight end. Touchdown, Cuse! And the punishment has been extended. And add it on again. This offense has done whatever they want, however they want, and this lead has ballooned. When you start a season off, you want to build momentum. You want to defeat an opponent and beat them badly. That's exactly what they've done. This team looks ready to compete for a national championship. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, a big time. Top 25 duel. Let's get right to the pictures. Notre Dame has the lead currently, but it hasn't come easy for the Golden Domers. They're in a tight one right now. They're up by seven over Boston College. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Words ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. At the 40, there he goes. Stopped at the 42, but he got 15 yards on the play. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and 10 from the 42. Johnson wants to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. A huge play there as he has it inside the 20 at the 19. That's the end of the third quarter of play. With the score, Syracuse, 42, Kansas State, 7. They'll start the drive here with first down to open this period. Jack Rabbit. Looking to move it through the air. Now he's going to break the pocket. Find his big tight end. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Kansas State pushing the pace. From the gun, looking for a man. It's complete! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Kansas State! Once the game reaches this point, you start leaking ahead and how you can find something positive to take into the next game. Dang right. Keep the offense rolling. Try to find some plays that I can use throughout this season that I can have some more success or... I guess have success. I haven't had a lot of success today, but I'm looking for the future. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. 
And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react to getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action and sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Looking to buy time. Fires on the move. He's got it. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Nice job by the receiver on the back end there, too. He sees his quarterback on the run moving, and he just works to get himself open to give his guy a place to throw the football. They're able to connect, and they keep the drive going. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. On the run, it's Allen. Sweet feet on the move. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. The quick beat, the acceleration, the vision, and he works his way to the 44. And that's the problem with blitzing on defense. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Defense dialed up the pressure, but the offense had a better play call. They ran it away from the blitz, and that's why they were able to be successful. Handoff to the lone back. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. On the move, he fires. He's got it, and they convert. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. The outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you got the lead. That first down now tells me, now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be keying him too, right? Because he's hurting him a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line. So offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Tries to surge ahead on the sneak. Touchdown, Orange! And the beatdown has ensued. Yeah, and how about this offense, man? Putting another drive together, getting in the end zone. And here's the deal. Going on the road, handling these conditions in game one, they've done a phenomenal job. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Syracuse, 49, Kansas State, 14. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback.
K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. The give to the back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. We reach the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Offense gets set for second down. Johnson looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, that's just pitch and catch. At this point, you're just trying to create some rhythm in the passing game, so you find your tight end, stick route, middle of the field, doesn't get easier than that. Throws to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Kansas State quick to the line. And the offense just going to spike it here. Brings up third down. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. He'll just keep slinging it. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. Looking for a crease, it's Allen. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You gotta love that as the players. You come out, you have so much anticipation coming into the season, finally getting ready to play in front of a live audience. You're able to come out and execute and get this win under your belt. David, couldn't be a better way to start the year. And for the losing team, obviously, it's a little bit different. You have something to look at now to analyze where do I need to get a little bit better, but plenty of time still left in the season to improve and turn it around. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.